In these videos, we're going to find limits in which we have rational type functions. And I say rational type because some are rational functions and some are, um, are not. For instance, D is not a rational function. And that's because the absolute value complicates things a little bit. But we're gonna start with C. We'll start with C and we'll see how long this video gets and then we'll just keep going and if we need to start another one, we will. We've got the limit as X approaches three from the right of two over X minus three. Well, two over X minus three has a vertical asymptote at X equals three. So that's an algebra concept. If you graph this, you'll see that when you have a vertical asymptote, your graph is either hugging that vertical asymptote going up or it's hugging the vertical asymptote going down, okay? And that's happening on both sides of the vertical asymptote. So sometimes this happens, something like that, and sometimes this happens, something like that, and depending on the function, sometimes that can happen, or that can happen. What we want to find out is, is our graph approaching the vertical asymptote like the red, the green, the orange, the purple? And there's going to be two out of this four. We're really just concerned about what's happening as we approach x equals three from the right side of three. So are we looking, is our graph looking like the green or is it looking like the orange? So which one is it? That's the question. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a value in that's just slightly bigger than three to show that I'm getting closer to three from the right-hand side. And 3.1 minus 3.0 is 0 0.1. Two divided by 1 tenth, two divided by 1 tenth, is the same thing as two times 10. So when I put a 3.1 in, I'm going to get a 20 out. So something way up there. So, we can definitely say that this orange piece is not happening. That is most definitely not happening. So what's happening from the right-hand side of three is the green part. So what's happening to our function value? As we get closer and closer and closer to x equaling three, we're hugging that vertical asymptote even more and our function value is increasing, 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 increasing. And it's as the closer, closer, the most minute space between three and the number to the right of it is going to result in a super large number, super large positive number. So what we can say here is that the limit as X approaches three from the right-hand side is positive infinity. So we know it's either going up to positive infinity or going down to negative infinity. And once we ruled out that orange graph, once we ruled out that it can't be the orange graph that makes up this graph, we knew it was positive infinity. Now, that's our answer for this problem, but I wanna continue on with this graph because it's gonna help you understand other problems a little bit more so. Now, this graph, if we look at the left side of three, if we look at the left side of three, it can't be the graph of two over x minus three. It can't be both the red and the purple. It cannot be both the red and the purple, otherwise it fails the vertical line test. So it's going to be one or the other. So if, if this question was asking for the limit as x approaches three from the left of two over x minus three, I would put in maybe a 2.9. So I would have two divided by 2.9 minus three, and that would be negative one tenth. And negative one tenth, when we're dividing, is the same thing as two times negative 10. So 
what's happening as we put in numbers closer and closer to three, we are getting larger and larger and larger negative outputs. So this graph is composed of the purple curve and the green curve. Now, the purple curve is gonna do something else that way, and the green curve is gonna do something else that way, and that's a story for another day. All we're looking at is what's happening as X gets closer and closer to three, and this one wants three from the right. So three from the right would be positive infinity, okay? If it asked for three from the left, that would be negative infinity. And if it asked for the limit as x approaches three, that's when it does not exist because the limit from the left, the left limit is negative infinity. The right limit is positive infinity. The limit from the left as we approach three, the limit from the right as we approach three are not equal. Therefore, the limit as x approaches three of two over x minus three does not exist. DNE does not exist. Okay. I am going to clean this up and let's take a look at H. So let's take a look at H. H says, find the limit as X approaches negative six from the right of X over X plus six. X plus six is in the denominator. Negative six is excluded from the domain. It's a point of discontinuity. We're gonna end up with a vertical asymptote at X equals negative six. Now we need to calculate what's happening as we get closer and closer to negative six from the right-hand side. So from the right-hand side, I would have values negative 5.5, negative 5.6, negative 5.7, negative 5.8, negative 5.9, negative six. And I'm gonna to go to the nearest tenth because we just remember on a vertical asymptote, we know that our graph is gonna hug that vertical asymptote. It's either gonna hug it on the way up or it's gonna hug it on the way down. We need to figure out which way it's hugging it. Is it hugging it towards positive infinity or going towards negative infinity? So we'll put in negative 5.9 and we'll evaluate and see, are we gonna get a positive output or a negative output? If we get a positive output, we know that we're going to be approaching positive infinity. Well, the, the x value approaching negative 6 will give us a function value that is getting closer and closer to positive infinity, which you can't really get to positive infinity. Positive infinity, infinity in itself is an idea, not a number, because it just keeps going and going. But... I don't wanna to digress too much. Negative 5.9 over positive 1 tenth. That's going to be a negative value. So we know that as our X values get closer and closer to negative six, our curve is going to drop more significantly. And when it drops, that means the function value is getting closer and closer to negative infinity. So this one would equal negative infinity. And we don't have to check the limit from the left because it was just asking us the limit from the right. Now in the next video, because I don't want this one to go too long, and those two are definitely related, um, in the next video we're going to look at K. So we'll look at K and see uh, what's happening there. And then we'll go back and look at D and E.